Okay, day number 26. I can't believe it, four more to go. And for me, this is huge. I really didn't think I was gonna be able to do this. And with your help and, and just the, just the overall strength and fortitude, I decided I was gonna make this work, and, and I did. So between teaching and everything else, I still was able to achieve this for myself, and I'm really excited about it. So thanks again for being here. And on the flip side of that, um, usually I come in knowing what I'm gonna paint, and I, I kinda do this time. I know that I'm enjoying these paintings that have texture, a dreamlike, or even a a mood that would um, somehow conjure up some kind of a, a feeling in your heart or in your mind, a place that you might have visited before or saw in your own dreams. So that's kind of where I am with these, and I, I, I love this direction. I'm going to keep going. So um, I'll see you in a second. I'll get my video going. Bye. Hi, everyone. It's Nicole, and I just took a look at my video and thought we were recording the whole session, and it didn't record. I apologize I feel so bad so I think I feel bad for myself because I had a lot of good insight I thought and unfortunately it's not on here so I'll just talk about it on film um, as I show you what I did create and hopefully that will be our takeaway also um, day number 26 I can't redo it's done I um, painted it so I would be I'd be cheating if I went ahead and painted a new one. So I will go ahead and just talk about this one. So again, my apologies. And, um, my day number 26 and the challenge for me was I wanted to come into it and paint freely and loosely and textural and um, and so on. So what I've done so far is I put, applied all the areas of the color blocks and worked my way down and the whole idea was that we were expressing a mood or a feeling. And the only part that I can say is that what I will do is I'm going to manipulate the paint back and forth a little bit on this one. Not much, but just enough to where you can see me at least do that part of it. Um, but as you Okay, so my apologies on the fact that my camera and video were not recording. I don't know what happened, but so off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna make lemonade out of these lemons. So basically, I just wanna show you that I am going to come in and just work a few of these colors in, in the sky area. And I'm not going to overdo it. I actually like kind of the dramatic look that it has right now. Um, and I have overworked things before and it's kind of a bummer when it happens because it's really hard to get it back. So I'm just going to lightly come in on camera just to show you what I'm doing. And um, not a whole lot. I'm gonna leave this one a lot like how you see it. And then the other thing is that I wanted to show just how, um, you know, just talk a little bit about takeaways. So what I was saying on camera that you didn't hear because it didn't fi um, film is that um, I was talking about style and, and what some people say, well, what, what is expressionism or what, why are you calling it expressionism? And, and the reason why I'm choosing to use that term to describe my work recently is because I'm expressing a feeling. And that's what I like about what's happening with my art right now is that it's um, conjuring up um, a quietfulness, in my, at least for me personally it, it is, and for every person it's different. So that's the other thing that I like about art is for me it's doing that. It might not be for you or for someone else, but what I, what I love is that for me it's a quiet place right now and I, I really, I think there's a, a gentleness with these, but at the same time there's also a dramatic pull and I'm not sure where how to how to explain how can you possibly have both but for some reason these have a feeling to me of being in a quiet almost the feeling I don't want to use the word surreal because I know it's not surreal but it's that feeling of a place that I have never been but at the same time it's very familiar and it's and it's um it's very quiet it's almost like you like you'd be surprised if you saw someone with you in this place and that's what's kind of cool about what I'm doing right now is I feel like these are are, are things that come to my mind or in my head they're places I, maybe I've been but I don't know when maybe as a child or maybe 
in a dream and they're not they're not out of the ordinary by any stretch of the mean, but what they are to me is they're they're interesting because they feel familiar to me, and um, it, and in a good way. They're a place that brings me joy, and with art, that's what I want to do. Is I want to bring that joy into my life and to others, and if I can do that, then that's my biggest achievement. Um, and right now, that's basically what you're seeing on camera is what I do. So I'm just, again, just playing with the paint. Used a big brush, so I'm taking a little bit of my control out. And I'm just softening a few areas. I'm leaving some of the scratched areas, but some, like in here, might take away a couple little lines just so they weren't all in there on purpose. I just wanted to be a little softer. And really, truthfully, that, this is about it. I'm happy with this. And um, when I'm happy with a painting, I leave it because... If it's something that I personally like that I would hang in my home, then I'm happy and that means it's complete. Might not be for someone else, but for me it is. And so that's when I know a painting, you know, some people say, well, when's a painting done? When I feel proud enough to hang it in my home and that I, I see beauty in it, then that's when it's done. So anyhow, thank you so much, you guys, for being here. I hope you like this one. I hope you can see it on camera. And I will post it on my day number 26. And I'm happy that, um, in a way, this happened so that I could talk a little bit more in detail about the painting. Instead of just painting in front of you, I can talk a little bit about it. So, anyway, you have a beautiful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Tomorrow, in fact. Okay, bye.